Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're new, hi, I'm Erica. I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. And today's video, guys, I'm really excited because it's my first ever shop with me video exclusively just for handbags. We are shopping at Nordstrom Rack. So I will not spend any time talking. Let's go right into Nordstrom Rack and let's see all the bags that they have. Hello everyone, let's go shopping at Nordstrom Rack beginning with Lucky Brand. Guys, I have been looking at Lucky Brand bags for such a long time and have yet to execute, but I don't really understand why. I think their leather is very nice, their shapes are all unique, and their prices are really quite nice. I mean, a leather bag for under $100, you really can't go wrong. I particularly liked this bag. I liked the color quite a bit. I loved the price at $80. And then we had this little dangly SLG item for your AirPods that I thought was a nice addition. Over to the wallets, we have Amy Kestenberg. I loved the contrast of the rainbow metal along with the black wallet. I do very much like a card wallet and for $17 for a real leather wallet, where do you go wrong? Am I right? Then I saw this Amy Kestenberg calf hair finish wallet. Again, I really liked the shape. I thought it was a nice size. This Hobo International wallet. Y'all, if you are looking for a really nice, kind of on the small side wallet and still wanting to be organized, really check out Hobo International. Their leather is fabulous. Their prices here are great and they just keep me so organized. Amy Kestenberg. I particularly liked this size. I thought it was a good in-between of a very small and then large wallet for $50. This was a Tory Burch section. I have had Tory Burch purses in the past. I actually bought mine at Nordstrom Rack and her bags are just such lovely quality. Kurt Geiger, I was obviously, you know, distracted. I loved the rainbow. And then I saw some Hobo International mixed in. You will see a very trending theme of Hobo International. They had quite a bit of product. And I just really can't stress enough. I think they're fantastic products. They're really unique designs. And their leather is just built to last. I have a Hobo International bag that I've had for years. I loved this coral particularly because I liked the size. Which is strange because I'm not generally attracted to larger wallets. Some classy Tory Burch bags. Particularly this black saddle bag. I, I am a saddlebag girl. I just think they're such a fun shape. More wallets. These were a lot of Steve Madden. I particularly am drawn to all of the vibrant colors from Steve Madden, and I think they're a great price for not a lot of money. Kicking myself for not buying this Hobo International wallet. Going back and looking at it, it's just so unique. I really am drawn to that tie-dye. Another great print by Steve Madden with the daisies. This was a Ted Baker wallet and one that you can truly feel quality. And it was through this trip that I really learned that I definitely want to add Ted Baker to my collection. This Kurt Geiger wallet I actually own in red, this very like quilted pattern and it's a wonderful wallet. I liked this Ted Baker a lot, this drawstring bag. I was particularly drawn to the yellow and blue of the print, some Dooney and Burke. I play this game with myself, guys, when I go shopping. Tell me if you do this too. I look at the bag and I try to guess the brand before I go into it. And I knew this in the store, but I could not think of it when I was editing. It is Vince Camuto. And both of these bags had a very wonderful shape. And I liked that there was two contrasting patterns. So you kind of had a choice of which one you preferred. These were some Michael Kors bags. Tell me, were you team coach or MK back in the day? I was team coach, but I very much can appreciate a Michael Kors bag. I've had several and they're great quality. We had some Calvin Klein box sets. I'm not a huge Calvin Klein bag fan. I had one and it fell apart right away. Yes, I was a massive guest fan back in the day. I had several and I thought they were Fantastic quality. I am particularly drawn to these small rectangular shapes, guys. You will see that throughout the video. I, I picked up a couple of them. This Marc Jacobs bag. I have been eyeing it on the website for months. If you have it, let me know if you like it. I don't know if the shape is the right one for me. I'm also a little concerned with the size. This sack bag reminded me of a Patricia Nash bag. Very nice leather. I loved the kind of hand tooling look on it. 
And then we have another Lucky Brand with this beautiful shimmery leather. This was a Rachel Zoe bag, and I don't really know how to feel about it. I love the yellow. I just don't like the snake skin with the yellow, if you get my gist. I preferred it with the black, and of course the tassel was a nice touch. Nine West. Nine West has a spot in my heart. It was one of my first bags ever. And Steve Madden, I liked the size and the color of that bag. This was a Hobo International bag. Now, guys, I've seen this on the website, but in person is just phenomenal it really is a nice bag it was a fantastic size and the leather again is just quality to touch and i particularly liked that shiny finish this was 140 so definitely a nice you know nice price very unique shape on this bag i i just thought it was i was drawn to it so i had to take a look who what where for 50 dollars Right in front, we have this Betsy Johnson and this American Leather. I have seen quite a few of these bags, and they are buttery, guys. Just absolutely buttery leather. <gasps> the Kurt Geiger. Guys, it is black with a rainbow finish with the signature Kurt Geiger eagle there on the front. And... I had to have it. It was $110. I couldn't leave it. I actually put this baby in my car and I walked around with it. I had to think about it and I brought it home. Jessica Simpson, her bags really are adorable. I quite like them, but I have not pulled the trigger on one in a long time. More Vince Camuto and more calf hair. Obviously, drawn to the sequins. I, again, have been eyeing this one on the Nordstrom Rack site. This is an Amy Kestenberg bag. I just really like the size. It has great organization, and in person, it did not disappoint. And it is $140 at Nordstrom Rack. I almost bought that black bag on clearance not long ago. More Hobo. Again, they just had a lot of them. And this is that same shiny leather as the previous bag I just recently showed you. This was the clearance section. Had to take a look through here. You just never know what beauties you're going to find. Found this Amy Kestenberg bag, and I just thought the leather looked a little worn here. Like it had just been used and then returned. So this one ended up retailing for, I believe, $104, $105. And I don't know. I just thought it was too much for the money. Betsy Johnson. I really did have an obsession with Betsy Johnson back in my day. I had quite a few of her bags. I liked the braiding on this backpack and the studs. I'm always here for the studs, and I do really love a red bag. This was an Amy Kestenberg smaller, like, crossbody bag that you could use for a day out. This was $64. I think a little too small for the price, but that's just my opinion. I like woven bags a lot. I think they're a very fun beach bag. Now, I had to show you guys this Kurt Geiger because I thought the patent leather was so unique. But these handles, very unique, but very, very heavy. This backpack gave me very fun Gucci vibes with the B, but just not Gucci prices. Longchamp. Nordstrom Rack is another good place for Longchamp, guys. If you're looking for a good deal, I would highly recommend shopping Nordstrom Rack. More Hobo International, this time in a lovely blue color. Ugh, I'm a sucker for a red bag, guys. Again, Hobo International, very similar to that black bag I showed you. The shaping, but just obviously a different color. Hobo International, obviously red with that gold hardware. I really like the juxtaposition of the gold and the red. Again, another kick myself moment. I actually, looking back, really enjoy the shape of that bag. I think it's very, very unique. We have more Dooney and Burke, this time a canvas bag. I am just drawn to floral, guys. And this was a very beautiful floral by Tori Birch. I particularly liked her use of colors. They both reminded me of summer and autumn all at the same time. Obviously, we draw out the fringe and stud bag. This is by Date and Mood. I actually have several of their bags, and if you are looking for a very fun, just boho fringy look, definitely look at Date and Mood. Drawn to this pink bag, I, I don't know why, probably the color, and as I pulled it out, I was very surprised to learn that it was Rebecca Minkoff. Please let me know if you guys have seen this style on her website before. I just think it might be an old style. I've never seen it. I liked the contrast of suede and the pebbled leather. I'm a sucker for that. 
And obviously we go back to this black with the rainbow metal from Amy Kestenberg and I loved the chain detail on that. Again with the shape. I actually kind of want to go back and buy that particular bag. I think it would be fun for going out. I kind of used the shopping trip guys. Oh, love, love that speckled, fun, pretty leather. I wanted to show you kind of how I'm drawn to bags and what draws me to bags. Ty Baker, ugh, the quality. But I really am just drawn to different colors, different metals, different patterns. Like, I, I really just have no rhyme or reason. I do like something on the bag to stick out, though. I really do. I'm, I am a sucker for something that sticks out. These were a lot of just the crossbody smaller bags, but I always like to look through. I, I do wish I had more, of, more bags like this in my collection, just because they're fun to go out with. We're obviously going in different colors. I liked how they had it arranged, kind of like a rainbow. This was that kind of coral color, that earlier wallet I showed you. This was more of a crossbody style. I loved this hot pink frame bag, guys. I, I, it's just, it's these bright, fun colors. $100. I, I have a I have a knack for picking out the most expensive things. It's both a blessing and a curse. American leather, again with that tie-dye leather that reminded me a bit of the Hobo International. But just really fun and then obviously we had to pick out the Kurt Geiger. Kurt Geiger just has some very stupendous bags like they you could just tell from a mile away what it is. More of that American leather. We're coming to a close guys. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. I know I did. Alright guys, I am out of Nordstrom Rack. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you kind of got a glimpse into my purchasing process. I really hope you liked this video. Let me know please in the comments down below which bag was your favorite that you saw and especially if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. But I will leave you here and I wish you the best rest of your day, a fabulous rest of your week and weekend, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. But until then, I'll talk at you.